What it do, what it do, what it do, you two. What it do, my peoples. You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy N-O-R-E-K. We in the building with another one, baby. Can you hear me? Testing one, two. Ring that bell one time, you dig? Hit the like button. Share the video. Hey, all the subs that's rolling in, we appreciate ya. Appreciate ya. On tonight, on tonight, without further ado, we're going to give y'all the breaking news, man. I don't know if anybody is up on it, everybody, anybody is aware of um, the Vicky White, Casey White. Casey White was the inmate. This was the guy. Vicky White is a woman, obviously, uh, correctional officer who would help Casey White escape from an uh, Alabama prison. Uh, the guy, Casey White, was already serving two life sentences for murder. She helped this man escape on her day of retirement. So, without further ado, we're going to jump into a fair use only on the clip. I won't use the audio, but I will let it show just, to, just so y'all can see who I'm talking about. But, yeah, man, it's your boy, N-O-R-E-K. Drop them forks in the comment. Casey White, Vicky White. Just Google it. You'll see it pop up. It's all over the blogs right now. It's everywhere. Can't miss it. So yeah, they, they reporting on it. Uh, shout out to NBC News. Shout out to all the news outlet that you know. Shout out to the police officers, man, that actually did their job and caught this guy. You know, look, he's 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 uh, clearly been con convicted of murder allegedly, not once, but twice, maybe even more. Um, they caught him. They escaped from Indiana. This is the guy. Or they, they escaped from Alabama, sorry. He escaped from Alabama. She helped him escape. Walked him right out the front door or the back door, whichever door. You dig? Um, it's, it's, it's a, I, I like to call it one of those cases of uh, prisoner of love. I think that's what we're going to title it. Prisoner of love. You dig? Um, this is the guy, Casey White, man. You know, look like an average Joe, right? But... Clearly, he done did some, did some do. You know what I'm saying? Knocked some people off. Cut some people's TVs off. But, um, yeah, Vicki White, she was about 50-something years old. Um, and this guy, I think, was in his 30s. Maybe early 30s, late 30s, one of them. But clearly, there was a big age difference. And Vicki White, I think, had just lost her husband not too long ago. So, you know, whatever, whatever vulnerable situation she got herself into and got caught up with this this guy man it's a sad ending it's a sad ending because she worked at the correction office as a correction officer for about 16 years and then you this how you go out <sighs> that's crazy that's crazy but yeah there they are right there driving the f-150 and that's her letting him out like come on dude come on when have you seen let's rewind that a little bit when have you ever seen a, a inmate being escorted in that manner. The officer walking in front of him and just letting him walk free. Come on, man. She knew what she was doing. She's like, yeah, we're going out with a bang. You did? But yeah, there he is. Driving the F-1 or standing in the F-150 at a car wash, it seems. A blue F-150. You know? Said, uh, I guess they got into a high-speed chase. And then I think dude crashed the car. And then he surrendered, and man, it ended bad for her. She she took her own life. She killed herself. I don't know where she, she it was a self-inflicted wound, gunshot, but I don't know if it was to the head, to the body. I don't know where it was as of this moment. I'm just bringing you that they are right there. That's Miss Vicki White, you know, and clearly in the police uniform. So was she a correction officer? It says sheriff. Hmm. So she was an actual police, not a, not a correction officer. And that's the guy right there. Look at that mugshot. Ooh, ooh, wee. Look at that mugshot. Psh, boy, boy, boy. Yeah, man. Sad, 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 man. But yeah, things like this happen every day. And they don't, they don't, people don't talk about it as much as they probably should. But it happens every day. You know what I mean? It happens every day. These are the kind of crimes that kind of go swept under the rug. They talk about it for a minute. Look. Y'all see, see that? Y'all see how she just kind of let him right out? She walking in front of him. Like, who does that? Look how she holding the door. Like, come on. I'm trying to get up out of there. Like, I feel him. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, we on the move right now. We got to bust a move. I ain't got time to play with you. 
Look like she got on gloves, do she? Look like it. So yeah, she holds the door, boom. He walks out. You know what I'm saying? Free man. At that point, a free man. She got the keys, gonna take the shackles off of her and keep pushing up the road. And then to make matters worse, she sold her house. She sold her house for half the price of what it was worth. She sold her house for $90,000. There she is again. Sold her house for 90 something thousand dollars. Half of what it was worth. And got on. So she already knew what she was doing. Like, even if she would have survived, they would have hit her upside the head with you know, so many charges of, uh, you know, helping an inmate escape. Like, first of all, you was a police officer, correction officer, whatever you were. So they gonna, they gonna, they was gonna scrutinize you. They was gonna, they was gonna do you in. So she knew she had to take herself out. She didn't want to face that music. Uh huh. Mm hmm. You did. Like, hey, some that, that some would say that's the that's the weak way out. That like she took the the chump way out. But hey, she did what she thought was best at the moment. She didn't want to go have to face that face her people. Like whatever her reasoning was behind even getting involved in it. Like hey, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she would kind of claim insanity or uh, something of that nature if she would have pulled through the. Uh, the gunshot, but they said she didn't make it, you know. But yeah, man, y'all tap in. Let me know what y'all think about it. There they go, right there, on surveillance, passing the gas station. Yeah, it's real. It's real live, man. It's real live out here, man. Real live, man. Y'all think, y'all think, uh, on, only in the hood that, you know, what I'm saying you, you hear about things and, you know, you can only report on things like that. But man, listen, these are things that the public need to know because if they would have got further than what they went and this dude would have actually been out there who's to say if he wouldn't have turned around and knocked her off you feel me and then went on another little spree like for real you got to think about it you know what i'm saying like she she was clearly in my opinion i don't know but you know in my opinion i believe that she was insecure in some nature for her to even entertain that type of you know what I'm saying, behavior to want to help this guy escape who's serving not one but two life sentences. Come on. And then walk him right out the door. <laughs> like, nigga, where they do that at? Where they do that at? Come on now. So, yeah, they, they, they gaffled him up. He back, you know what I'm saying, on the yard. Probably going to be in solitary confinement for the rest of his days because, like I said, he, he already been convicted of one case where he's serving like 75 years. Come on, man. You're already in your 30s. You're not going to make it 75 more. You feel me? If you do, hey, you ain't going to be worth nothing anyway. And then they got him on another one where he's facing the death penalty for killing an old woman, I believe, in her 50s. So my point, she's in her 50s. You want to help this dude escape? And Come on, man. He, he, he was just waiting to get a little further down the road, and he was going to knock you off. And then be on, that, be on, be on the news again. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm glad that. I'm glad it didn't go down like that to where he was out here. But like I said, this is stuff that y'all should be reporting on. All y'all bloggers, all y'all YouTubers, all y'all that's out here trying to play detective and, and, and solve cases for the police. Like, man, report on this because who knows? Like I said, they got caught in Indiana. They left from Alabama. Indiana's the Midwest. So which way was they headed? You feel me? Where, where were they headed? Where were they going to end up at? Where were they at? They probably was next to you. Driving next to you in a in a hotel near you, near your kids, near your mama, near your grandpa. Like, come on, you gotta think about this. You know what I'm saying? He they clearly got access to heat because she's a police officer. You know what I'm saying? Come on, come on, y'all not thinking? Y'all reporting on all these hood vlogs and all this this and that that. Hey, this is what matters. Stuff like this. Like, don't get me wrong. When when stuff in the hood go down, hey, if y'all want to report on it and shed light on it, then do that too. But stop idolizing the downfall of, our, of just your own neighborhood, your own community. Speak on the things that matter. This is one of those things that matter. If this dude would have landed up next door to me, next door to you, next door to your mom, next door to your sister, your brother, your nieces, your nephews, who knows what could have happened? Who knows what could have happened? You feel me? Then you would have been on here boo-hooing, crying, talking about, man, ooh, this, that, and the third. Like, bro, I'm, I want to see how many YouTubers going to actually speak on this topic right here. That's, that's, that's what I want to see. 
But y'all already know what to do, man. Drop them forks in the comments. It's your boy N O R E K. You know we back with another one, baby. Bringing you that all exclusive. That's why we call Total Access, baby. Because we giving you total access to all the exclusive. They just got caught today. Today. Yeah. Today. What's today? The ninth? Yeah, May 9th. They got caught today. So they was able to celebrate Mother's Day together to get it in, do their thing. And the crazy part about it, both of their last names is white. So I don't know what the relationship is, is, if there's any, you know, I don't know. I have no idea. But her name is Vicky White. His name is Casey White. Maybe that's how he got a little bit close to her and slid up under her with the last name thing. You know, when, 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 when motherfuckers in there, they got the gift of gab. No matter who they are. You know what I'm saying? Some people got that gift of gab. And he clearly slid up under her and whoa, 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 whoa. And had her to walk him right out the front door. <laughs> now that's gangster. <laughs> you feel me? Y'all talking about some gangster shit. Now that's gangster. I'm just saying. Hey, tell a friend to tell a friend, man. Hit the like button, share the, share the video, and uh, subscribe to the channel. It ain't gonna cost you nothing. It's your boy, Blah.